Hang on. It's uh, December the 17th, 2015. And as you probably already know, uh, we've been covering Spike Lee, all right? And for the most part, we found out he was a goofy. Now, the thing is, he's a goofy. He's, he's untrustable. And uh, I, I wanted to make that known publicly. Here's the thing. Here's what you might know. Uh, I I'm going to try to tear him down. Tear, tear him all the way down to Chinatown. Here's the thing. Uh, he he's, he's acting bad, all right? He's talking about shit, all right? And uh, first time I got, I, I got a, a glimpse of this, what was going on, the Chirac trailer. This was in early November. Uh, I spoke out against it. I said, you know what? This is uh, not good. This is going to be uh, destructive. Because here's the thing. I had a weird more uh, curiosity at uh, certain places like Chicago, the south side of Chicago, because it is dangerous. All right? You're not supposed to be there. I've heard people tell me personally, don't ever go there. Uh, and just don't ever be there, is what they say. And then I looked into it, and it turns out there's a lot of reasons to not be there, uh, including the murdering. The murdering that happens a lot. Uh, there's a lot, and I noticed them, and it's like I, like, I like a lot of different members from Chicago. And it seems like it's a very big place. And then Spike Lee came, and he made a movie that was nothing like all the people that I had been looking at. Now, these are the people uh, from Chicago, and lots of these people call themselves savages. That's what they call themselves. All right? And so that, that, that'll tell you something about it. Um, but his thing, long story short, Nick Cannon is not a savage. Uh, the, the movie didn't really look like that, what I had been looking at. Um, you know, what I had been looking at, uh, Chicago, the south side of Chicago, uh, which, is, which is known as Chirac. All right? But here's the thing. I had have, I have a bad feeling in my gut, alright? I, I had a bad feeling in my gut. I said, you know what? This guy, he's making a movie. He's trying to make a whole lot of money, alright? He's using the Shyrak name, which is kind of popping. He's making a movie. And it's nothing like Chicago, and he's a goofy. Alright? And I said that about a month ago, but uh, as you can see, and I'll leave a few links. As you can see, uh, a lot of people are catching up with me. And, uh, and they, too, also want to tear down Spike Lee. But here's the thing, I've been noticing it. I, I was looking at the videos earlier. And you find a lot of rappers. You find a lot of uh, black folks. And they're going to they're, they're want to tear down Spike Lee. That's natural, because he, he's acting bad and he's talking about shit. Right? And he continues to talk about shit. In fact, here, here's a uh, video of him talking about shit. Office of Public Engagement. I began by asking Spike if this movie is really about the city of Chicago. This is a movie about America. Because a big takeaway for me, for the film, is guns. A uh, video of him talking about shit, and he's still talking about shit. Right? He's telling everybody that, that they're done. They're the ones who are done. And uh, anyways, go see his movie. All right? Uh, and that's bad. That's bad enough as it is. See, this, here's the problem. It's bad for black people. It's bad for the black people in Chicago. The thing is, th th there's no way that they can do to put away their vaginas. It's not going to happen, all right? Uh, not to talk bad on Chicago because I'm not from there, but uh, that, that whole vagina scenario, that was just way over the top. The, the vagina scenario, way over the top. It's not going to happen. In fact, if anything, if anything, if we're really going to think about this practically, uh, basically that would just skyrocket rapes. Rapes, and, and the thing is, like I've already covered, I don't like rapes. I don't think they're necessary. Um, and it would absolutely skyrocket the amount of rapes in Chicago if it was uh, thought to be implemented. And there's no way that it would be implemented. All right? uh, it has nothing to do with Chicago. Like I said, that was bad enough. Let me check out this video right here where he's running his mouth. He's going to tell you that not only does he think Chicago's bad, and this is the solution for Chicago, but he says, I think that it is it's insane. It's complete insanity that 88 Americans die every day due to gun violence in this supposed civilized country that we live in. Look at all the gun violence, gun violence everywhere, all right? So you think uh, your Spike Lee is not going to be rolling uh, real deep. He's going to be rolling real deep with that Hillary and that Bernie. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. This one is December the 17th, 2015. Spike Lee is goofy, but here's the thing. Uh, uh, you know, I was listening to this fellow by the name of Rhyme Fest. Rhyme Fest. Uh, he's a rapper, and he's talking about how it's bigger than Spike Lee. And that's the thing that we, we got to remember. It's not about Spike Lee, all right? Uh... Truth be told, uh, weirdos like him come a dime a dozen. And uh, if you do it long enough, you can uh, direct good films and be a weirdo. And that's what he did. All right? But it's the idea of black people uh, getting lots of money to destroy other black people or pretty much sabotage them. It's not a good practice. All right? And so uh, people are going to have to just start calling that. Uh, it's not Spike Lee. He's one little bit. The thing is, we're going to start calling people out, and I'm going to start calling people out. We're just going to start calling people out until we go to jail. This is December the 17th, 2015.